folks, welcome back. This is James Countyline Forge. If you watched my last video, you saw that I was making some uh, hooks for some fishing rods. I got a t about two dozen of them to make. And for production's sake, I'm going to make up a jig to do them fast so I can breeze through them. And what that's going to consist of, I got some half inch bar stock here and the device. Bring it down here. Got some two inch pipe chucked up in the vise right there. Piece of angle iron. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut off four inches of this. I'm gonna cut off four inches of this. I'm gonna cut off four inches of this. And we're gonna make us a, a jig that mounts in our post vise out there at the forge. That way I can do a lot of these hooks in repetition, just get them quick, all uniform and the same. So should be a pretty quick video, just stick with me and uh Shouldn't take long, we'll have us a jig. Alright, chamfered my edges there so that way I can get good penetration. Now, get out my wheel, we're gonna clean that up. Alright. There, because I want to put about three eighths or the smaller in that and be able to scroll the end around that. All right, folks, there you have it. One jig for bending scrolls or not scrolls, but like scrolling the end of a hook, a hook making jig, I guess you'd call it. Um, some angle iron. Two inch pipe, half inch, or whatever size scroll and bend you want. You can change up the size of these pipes. These are not mandatory to be two inch and half inch. You can three inch and quarter inch. You can whatever combination you want, just the type of the style of hook you want or the looks you want when you're finished. So once this thing's finished, cooled, I'm gonna take it out here. We're gonna fire the forge up and I'm gonna make a hook. And then I'm gonna show you how this thing works. So we'll be right back. All right. So what you want to do is put it in here. Get a good grip on it. Give it a bend around there where you want it. Make sure you're square. And just come around straight with it. Just like so. You can take that. with the camera here. Huh. Bend that around that. So now he's got a hook to hang his rod on. See that? Put the fish tail forward. Fish tail up top. I'll put the two holes in there. Now he can hang his rod on that. See how that bending jig works? Nice clean bend. If you ever have to tweak it, you can. You just put it in there and tweak it back to center. It holds its form pretty good. Okay. You can lift up and go down with it. It's not going to let it go, but so far, for it to let you tweak it, you can tighten it up, bang it on the back of the jig. Like so. But yeah. Handy little deal. Nice little bending jig. Alright folks, there you have it. Bending jig. Simple. Got a welder. 
weld it right up with some scrap. Uh, very, very useful in repetition, making things accurate, making things the same. When you have multiple dudes, it's fast, uh, all around essential tool for a blacksmith. So if this video helped you out, hit the like button, tell me, hit me up in the comments, let me know what you thought. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, again, try to put out as much content as I can. I'm out here every day, try to get enough together for a video. So help me out, help you out. And again, thank you for coming and have a good evening.